Hello Cancer and welcome to your April 2022 video. It's important to note, right, Jupiter and Neptune, especially in the first early weeks of April, will be together. So that's a lot about surrendering, it's about opening to compassion and you are in water sign. So this is great energy for you. We also have the solar eclipse in April on the 30th of April. And so we're in eclipse season this April. Right, and eclipses are powerful points of transformation. This is where doors in life close, where new doors open. It's important to watch your health during eclipses. We can sometimes find ourselves feeling very unwell, heavy, you know, feeling like we're just exhausted mentally, emotionally, and physically. So be as gently as possible that you can during this time. Now, on the 1st of April, we have a new moon in your 10th house, and this is about your career, dreams, goals, ambitions, and purpose. Any new ideas about what you want to do? This is this is where you might even want to think about changing careers. You might think about that or changing your goals or, or changing your ambitions. Or even when it comes to getting a new sense of purpose, something new gives you purpose within your life and inspires you. On the 6th, we have Venus joining Jupiter and Neptune in your ninth house. This is great, right? So Venus is about love. It's about luxury and beauty. And we have Jupiter expansion growth and opportunity it amplifies these other two plans with neptune neptune has to do with our compassion our fantasies and dreams now these energies being together is very important especially in the ninth house ninth house has to do with foreign cultures it's about meeting people different from you it, you know it's about having an adventure it's about traveling and we can do it in many ways. We can pick up a book and read something different that gives us a different perspective or read something about a different culture and it gives us like an aha moment. That's the energy of connection to different cultures when it comes to the ninth house. It also has to do with our sense of beliefs, right? Where we might be going through a period where we might be having deep beliefs about how we feel about different things that's the energy venus it's like makes you feel passionate about what you believe love what you believe you feel like it's you know touches your heart you know where you have a cause that's important to you the ninth house has to do with their spiritual journey and having venus there really gives us a beautiful energy it also asks you about love yes you know, the ninth house is where you might meet someone completely different from you to give you a different perspective. This energy is always in the ninth house is beautiful because it's where we have gained wisdom. It's about higher learning. And the way we do it is through experience, through experiencing something different. Whether we read it, we speak to someone, go somewhere, meet someone, fall in love. <laughs> we gain an experience. It gives us a different perspective and different understanding. Right, so that's a beautiful energy there where we can meet many different people that give us, you know, a different perspective and we learn new things and we feel inspired. It's great for publication. It's great if you want to journal and, you know, because you might have like really nuggets of wisdom in your journal about experiences you've had in life. Or, like I said, it's great for publication if you want to write a book. This is the energy of that. You know, it's also great for teaching. It's great for deciding you want to learn something new altogether and actually going and applying for, a, you know, a course that you're passionate about and, and that you love and you never know. Because Venus is there, it might bring in some love too that you might meet someone and make a connection and find the love. And it's great for manifestation too. Manifesting anything that we want. Really beautiful energy. If so, that's like good for meeting new people. What well, what if you're in an existing relationship? This is good too, because it helps you on the spiritual journey. It gives you do a different perspective when it comes to love and your relationship and yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, relationships too take us on the spiritual journey. Yes, together, but it's also about understanding ourselves and how we connect. On the eleventh, we have Mercury in the eleventh house. This is about your groups, your social connections. How do you connect to other people? Right, Cancer? How do you connect to other people? And when we're talking about social groups, it's friendships, family groups, work groups, you know, the groups we have on social media, all types of groups. 
So with Mercury there, it's like you have a message to share with people. So you might want to share this with either your colleagues. You might be at work and you might like, I need to share this. I have this idea, this, you know, innovative too. That's another thing about the 11th house. It's very much where we have an idea that's very forward thinking and that's a good solution. Great for solutions. If you're having problems with anything or other people having problems, they should come to you because you'll have some solutions and some ideas that can really help. 11th house is great for teaching and learning as well teaching a group you know getting your friends together and say let's do something fun i have this um meditation i want to try and we can light a candle and manifest something in our lives trying something different connecting to a group getting yourself in that energy of like oh oh maybe it doesn't even have to be that it's like you know what let us go somewhere really different today Let's go to take a drive and we will go to this art museum or we will go to, you know, you to talk about something interesting or maybe we can listen to it on, you know, YouTube. <laughs> we can listen to this and get your friends again and listen to it. It's all about that whole thing of connection through people learning, exchanging ideas and you have all the ideas. On the 15th, we have Mars in your ninth house. Here you want to take action and you're motivated about your beliefs, about what's important to you. Also about your spiritual journey, your wisdom, your experiences. If you want to go on a trip, the ninth house is asking that of you to actually like maybe make some time for you where you actually get away because it really wants that. The ninth house rules over travel. So traveling too, feeling motivated, you want to travel. On the 16th, you have a full moon in the fourth house. This is where you're feeling a bit sensitive. The fourth house rules over family, home, and the heart. You might have conflict with a loved one. Something comes to a head and you need to, you know, feel it, understand it, especially, you know, when we're talking about full moons more, we have to feel it before we even really say anything to someone. This is where your home environment, you might find that, mm, it's making you feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's cluttered and you need to declutter. Maybe the people around you is creating too much noise or not giving you a sense of peace. When we have a full moon, the fourth house, we are really looking for some peace, some rest, some time out. We want to beautify our home, make it comfortable. Not only really beautify it, it's more making the home comfortable for you. So your idea of comfort, what makes you feel comfortable, this is the energy of it. I wanna make my home comfortable. When it comes to family, there might be a bit of discord, but ultimately you are looking for time to retreat <laughs> and kind of get some time away. I think that would be great. Get some time alone, you know, making yourself comfortable at home, finding the things that make you physically comfortable so you can find yourself feeling emotionally comfortable, especially if anything comes up with family members, because then you will deal with it better. On the 20th, the sun is in your 11th house. Great again for those groups, networking, friendships, um, putting things out into, you know, technology. Like if you have any ideas you want to put onto the internet, great for that. Networking, leadership, humanitarian ideas, anything you want to do to help your community. You'll be thinking a lot about helping your community. How can you help others? What can you do to improve the people around you? You really are feeling very helpful that time. On the 29th, Mercury moves into your 12th house. So your mind feels like it's on a go slow in a rest mode and wants to take some time out from the everyday hustle and bustle. <laughs> Mercury in the 12th is telling you time out. You mentally feel a bit foggy. You need some rest and rejuvenation, especially mentally. You might not really feel open to saying or expressing everything on your mind at this time. You're more withdrawn into yourself, especially when it comes to your communication, right? And that's the, what you need at that time. Great for meditation, for astrology, readings, anything to do with the esoteric, where you are looking into crystals, color therapy, anything to do yoga, to do with anything to make yourself feel like better on a spiritual level because the 12th house is a very spiritual house, right? It's a godly house, it's lost, it's Pisces in the 12th house. So it's asking you to really connect to yourself and what makes you feel good on a spiritual level. On the 30th, the soul eclipse is in your 11th house. Now this is a change. A change is coming up for you when it comes to your groups, the people that you connect to. So you might be now really looking at your life and looking at the people that you connect to. After all that busy connection and thinking, hmm, 
I need to make changes. I need to make changes to the groups I'm in. And we can look at like family groups, friendship groups, work groups, um, a knitting group, any kind of group you will be thinking, I need to make changes. I need to enter into a new group. I need to connect to different people. I want to connect to people on my soul level. This is a great uh, solar eclipse on the third tier for making wishes manifestation looking to the future you might be thinking a lot about your future and future plans or what you want to create in within your life beautiful energy here cancer really beautiful so this energy is a lot about what you want to manifest what are your dreams what you want to bring forth into the future what is it that you want who do you want to connect to you'll be going through a lot of changes with your connections and the people that you connect to going forward into this year and into next year with these eclipses thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe my website is linked down below if you'd like a reading as well as a link for appreciation on these videos